Hi there. In this video, I'm just going to show you how to take data from uh, your raster. Uh, and in this case, I've got a, uh, uh, just a little piece of an SRTM raster. This is something I clipped in a previous video. Uh, there's the sort of whole lot with this uh, very colourful colour ramp. And then I clip this bit out. Um, so I'm just using a, just, just a smaller area of raster. And and I'm going to show you how to take the cell values uh, or um, aggregated values from the underlying raster and store them as attributes on these uh, vectors. So I've just got this line object here, this polyline, and uh, at a point, this is again, these are used in previous videos for observer and line of sight view shed type stuff. Um, please look at the uh, earlier videos if you're interested in that sort of thing, view shed and uh, uh, line of sight. So when I when I click on info tool here, you see I've got on the, on observers. I've just got some basic info. But what I'd like it is actually the height stored in there. There's the z value. If I click on this line, uh, that's from this line of sight layer. Um, and again, I'd like to put uh, some additional information in there. Perhaps the average average height uh, along that line, uh, i.e. the average cell value because uh, this raster is SRTM, it's elevation, and probably the minimum maximum as well that it ever reaches. So it's a, a very simple, straightforward, it's a 3D analyst tool. Uh, this is a, an additional uh, cost in ArcGIS, uh, and uh, you just have to make sure that, firstly, the extension um, 3D analyst is active, and also, of course, you've got your, your toolbar um, active there as well. So... Um, um, in the toolbox, you can see functional surface, and the, uh, the, the the magic of all this happens from add surface information, and it does exactly what it says on the tin. So the input features are observers. Uh, I'm just going to use my clipped raster that I talked about, and the only va the value available is z. Um, uh, it's updating a point, so it's just z, i.e. the height. Uh, and a couple of other settings, feel free to play, lots of help information here. I'm just going to pick out the, uh, the the height. Press OK. The um, Again, it'll uh, very, very quickly run. You can see a little lock there as the processor is running, the geoprocessor, and sure enough, and it's done. It's got a green tick. So now, when I click on the same info tool here, uh, it's got a Z value. 1974 meters. So now in this uh, uh, point layer, if I just open the attribute table, you can see the Z value stored in there. So a field was added, column was added, and populated. What happens with the line? More or less the same thing. We just got extra information because, of course, it spans an area. So this time I'm going to update line of sight, which is that polyline. The input surface, same thing. And the let's take let's take the minimum maximum values and the average that the, the mean that it ever hits uh, in elevation uh, across the area. Press OK. Again, the little lock icon. It's been processed. It's over in a flash. Not much data really to process here. Uh, and then let's click on the line. And there you'll see the minimum, the maximum elevation, and the any average from uh, all the way along the line. So. Open attribute table, and sure enough, those fields boom, 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 added and populated. And there you go. So dead easy. You, you need the 3D analyst tool. Uh, like I said, it, it is an extra to do that, but uh, it's called add surface information. I hope that's useful. Thanks very much.